Welcome everyone. Today I'll be showing you two of the treasure chest puzzles which are hidden under the water. As you can see over here, we're currently at the Yogon Shao coast, and this is the teleportation point. Those two two stars are the location of the puzzles to be solved. And before we get into the replays, what I'll show you is this is not indicated on the interactive map. Now I have found other chests that is also not on the interactive map, but I feel like those two are likely to not be found by people, the other ones we might have found them before. Also before we start our journey to the puzzles, make sure you have the Geo Traveler, Shaolin and also Brabra ready to be swapped in for those puzzles. Let's have a look. As we make our way to the first chest puzzle, what you're going to see is you're going to see a few of the monster sprouts, there's the electric mage. There are also some hidden chests on the side as you travel. So for example, there's one over here, as you can see, I just walked past it. I was like, wait a minute. So I walked past it, then I realized it's a loot function, so I went back to it. So those are hidden chests that is not showing on the map, and also those don't actually, you know, have a red sign around it. As you make to the location, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see one of the Ruin Hunters. It's one of those elite golem bosses, and by defeating it, you actually get a good treasure too. So over here you can see that you should defeat this golem because he actually spawns a level 3 chest. So on top of, of the hidden treasure chest that's underwater, you also get some bonus chests as we go. As you come to the star location, what you're going to see is you're going to see a hidden power structure or power monument underwater. What you need to do is you need to get close enough to activate this one, this is the first one, with Hydro. And this is why you need to have Barbara on the team and also the Geo Traveler. Make sure you set enough geo structures so that you actually land those. And if you don't get the first one on the first go, make sure you send the second one. So wait for her cooldown to be ready and go for one more. This way, notice the difference when it shows that it can land on the water, that's good. Make sure you have seen that before you land each of those. And now, as we get closer, swap into Barbara and try to use her Hydro attack to hit the monument here. And this should activate a beautiful treasure chest. And there we go. It's hidden over here, and it's another precious chest. So we made two precious chests so far, with the Drawing Hunter and also with the puzzle. Now the next puzzle underwater is a little more harder to see. What you want to notice is this broken boat that's underwater, and next to it is actually a power monument. This is extra pile power monument, and what you want to do is, you want to do the, what we did before. You want to get yourself over there with the geo structure, then you want to cast Hydro. Then we want to cast Pyro on it with Shaolin, and her little puffy bear can hit the monument underwater. Now it is possible if you use the cryo characters to build a bridge, then cast it, but you are susceptible to the duration of the ice bridge, which is 10 seconds. The geo structure is a longer time. And as you can see over here, I have made two geo structures, so I got super close to it. And now I'm gonna swap into Shaolin, and her puffy bear is gonna hit the structure, and we're gonna have a chest spawning over here. Very lovely. And once again, those are the two locations that you can find the underwater puzzle chest monuments, and you can activate those with Barbara, Shaolin, and also the Geo Traveler, which are free to play units that everyone should have. Now, before we go, after you grab the second chest under the water, what you want to do is you want to come over to this particular rock over here, and if you climb up, you can see another common chest. So, this is the fifth chest we discovered on our way through. This chest is located on the interactive map. But because it's a common chest, I don't think most people did search for all the common chests, so I thought I had it this as well. So it's right next to the monument, there's a big rock structure. And on top of the building, there's one more chest. So five chests in total. I would like to thank a lot of our helpful viewers who shared this particular chest with me, and there's so many of them, and I actually went through, you know, 200 messages, so I'm not keeping track of everyone. Latest, I had Lo-Fi, and I also had the Canadian Bean sharing this chest location with me. I remember there's a few other viewers, but there's just so many people I wasn't keeping track of who shared these chests with me. I apologize for that if I didn't mention you on time, guys. And, you know, thank you again for sharing the chest with me. And even, you know, sometimes if I find it, I'll come back and I'll consider if this is a rare enough location for us to make the video. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news, and even updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with Catherine and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.